Howdy folks, and welcome to Billy Jim's Guide to the Ballet. I'm Billy Jim Houck. Today, we're gonna to be talking about where the word ballet comes from, the origin of the word ballet. So, let's talk about where the word ballet comes from. Back in the 1400s, which was 600 years ago, which is a long, long time ago, well, they was having a lot of dance masters, right? And the dance masters, well, they, they were like dance masters and dance teachers, and they was writing all their stuff down, right? But uh, a lot of it's lost of time. Now, why do you suppose that is? Well, I'll tell you why it is. It's because it was like 600 years ago, man. That's a long time. Think about it. 600 years ago. So a lot of it was lost of time, but some of it was not. And one of the fellows who wrote this stuff down was this really famous Italian choreographer and dance teacher by the name of Domenico de Piacenza. That's not uh, really his picture there. Uh, uh, I, I googled it and couldn't find it, so th this fellow with the loot's going to have to do. So, Domenico, he wrote this book, and the book was called De Arte Saltende Ed Correas Ducende, which is actually Latin and translates into On the Art of Dancing and Conducting Dances. And uh, yeah, that's a real picture right there. So in his book, Domenico, he uses the word ballo instead of the word danza, both which mean dance in Italian. And as he started to get more popular, people started calling his stuff balletto or balletti. So it's probably because of this Domenico di Piacenza fella that we get the word ballet. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if he called it danza instead of ballo. Danza. Danza. Oh, oh, no, 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 no good, no good, no good, no, no, go, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh. Well, all right then, that does today's show. Be sure and join us again next time when we talk about the first ballet. Mmm, and the controversy surrounding it. All right, see ya, bye.